Hey guys, this is and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video. So, in this video, we will be taking a look at the Season 49 tier list, I guess. So, uh, okay, if you guys go to a game right now, it's probably Season 48. But, uh, I feel like, because Season is going to reset tomorrow, that's why uh, might as well just go for a Season 49 tier list. So, um, the reason why I don't really do that much tier list is because number one, tier list is just, it's just opinion based. Like, it doesn't matter how high or low your character is in the tier list if you know how to play that character you will do well with that character yeah it's really as simple as that that's why then a tier list is just there as a reference for people who kind of want to gauge uh yeah it's, it's not don't think too much of a tier list yeah then um i guess without further ado let's just get started so the previous tier list um it was pretty okay except that uh, I kind of messed up and didn't put Perona in it so Perona uh, let's just put her ability itself is really really good but the fact that um, there's too many characters that um, buff attack etc makes her defense boost not really that well in uh, tanking I think so uh, she's she's still really really good like her ability it's just yeah I'm, I'm i'm thinking of putting her somewhere around mm, I, I think she she seems pretty decent here like yeah <laughs> I, I i i don't know man i think somewhere behind somewhere in front seems okay so around definitely around this range then the next character that i want to amend for the tier list is obviously uh this Luffy. so Luffy, super duper good like um, if plus with this Roger thing right and Oden I guess uh, with they have a lot of recovery skills and the anti heal is just really really insane I not gonna lie I, I, I doubted the Luffy's ability so time to put him boys uh, I'm gonna think I'm gonna say he's better than Luchi like just the fact that um, huh, he's like somewhere near here it's, it's interchangeably like the fact that he has anti heal really i think just gives him a little bit of an edge against uh roger because like you can use him to anti heal your the enemy roger and your teammates can just follow up with the damage guys so yeah just really really good as a support character in my opinion and yeah let's just get started so other than that came uh i almost forget to put this character but this blue ace i don't know why i don't really see too much of him uh like he got played a lot when he got released but suddenly yeah because i guess oden and roger kind of read kind of read like they they literally the moment they got released they kind of shafted him out so hard but uh that being said his shield is still being pretty good like you are still able to like tank a few hits of the roger i guess then oden also shouldn't be an issue you can use it to block uh enemy paths and yeah, I'm thinking, I, I I still think he's a really, really good character, like, defender-wise. And for that, I think I'm gonna put him somewhere here, like, just for support. Like, you can potentially prevent your team from getting destroyed uh, by Roger, I guess, because his skill is not super fast, so if you can waste a skill in exchange for your skill 1, I think that's a good thing. Like, if you prevent a team wide uh, just by your shield being there, yeah then maybe not maybe a little bit of a biasness towards ace guys then okay other than that um came i think the bounty fest characters so there's the sanji and the uh zoro and both of them really 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 strong characters um i think maybe sanji was kind of a little bit of a shaft i guess like he is really good but um a little bit of a shortcoming i guess but uh i would say he's kind of he's kind of here like like he's he has things like croc um hmm. yeah i think like he's not super duper insane as a runner but he's still he's just like a nice blue runner that doesn't really get wrecked by blackbeard because like a lot of the other characters just kind of get uh destroyed because they are like Del fruit users so uh i'm gonna say that he's he's not too bad guys like okay then um next character will be zoro and zoro is a is a beast man like he 
he he's just so good. Um, and as to where I'm gonna put him, definitely around somewhere around here. Like this, these characters are just so freaking nice. And um, along with that, I guess um, that is essentially that. So uh, after that came the triple. No, four new units all in the first anniversary. So the chopper, okay, chopper, really good character. He her heals, his heals are better than Kai, Kai, Kaya, I think. Then uh, the charge ability is not super insane, but it's not too bad. So I'm gonna put him somewhere here where he's kind of a nice runner, uh, healer type. Like don't expect him to do too much damage. So yeah. That, but he's kind of, kind of, he kind of gets wrecked So I think I would want to prefer Tashigi better than him But he's definitely somewhere around the S plus range Then uh, next character would be the Let's see uh, Kawamatsu and the Okiku So Kawamatsu Really insane character I think uh, definitely around the You guys know Uruch His defense with the defense boost is really insane so Karamatsu I think it's a better version of Uruch like instead of landing your counter you just have to land your skill to to get back heals so and he has uh, a little bit quite a significant uh, increase in defense than Uruch so his, uh, his, his defense scaling is better than Uruch also so yeah and he don't really have to take damage to uh, buff himself up so like if you fight someone who do a lot of damage within their first few hits it, it's kind of a okay uh, guy for Kawamatsu but the thing is Kawamatsu uh, obviously if you look at Oden and uh, Roger all this they have attack buffs which could easily bypass his defense so I don't think he's in a super good spot uh, but still not too bad then uh, next is Okiku so Okiku like as good she's not too bad she's pretty good but the thing is she really shines under the 60 seconds so if you use her at the start she's okay but just not insane i would say so i'm gonna say she deserves like there's honestly too many characters to be in a specific spot so i i'll say that she's in a nice sweet spot around somewhere here yeah so, seems seems okay to me like when that 60 seconds come right the cooldown party is just pretty pretty pop for her then the thing the sad thing about okiku is she's very squishy so she she can't get wrecked very 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 fast like especially oden and roger yeah then okay here comes the oden guys oden um seriously i'm thinking definitely oden should be somewhere around here like just the fact that he's so freaking good as a runner like he knocks back opponent then he does pretty decent damage and the fact that you can get a treasure and they cannot do anything about it just makes him better and the thing is even though backbeard skill uh like people people has been asking like uh, oden or big mom and i do think that the big mom currently is uh, not as in a very very good shape like the Roger came out and I think he kind of destroys Big Mom quite a bit then um, Yeah, so Oden I think it's a better runner like I, I seen leak and it's literally just old people running Oden and uh, Roger or Roger with Blackbeard something like this so last character guys obviously this guy Okay, it's also another very very close fight. So it's between Blackbeard and uh roger guys and i would say that at both at level 100 uh roger have a pretty decent chance against uh blackbeard like he he easily can crush blackbeard like but the thing is um yeah blackbeard still okay the difference between the two of them is like not insane at all like they are still so disgusting like they just they just destroys everything and they just makes the game so freaking not fun at all so like some may say that blackbeard is better and i i i, I won't blame you if you say that because blackbeard really is still way disgusting like um you can there's a lot of things you can do with blackbeard and he's he's just a pretty insane uh defender but i'll say roger is still kind of better like with the best with the good build etc this guy is unstoppable man 
Like He's so hard His skills are so hard And I think I think you guys really understand Like if you guys haven't seen my uh, 6 star Roger video Or even the 5 star Roger video You have seen how insane he is You don't even need so much skill to play him And it's essentially the same thing as uh, Blackbeard as well So Yep, I think honestly that's kind of that for the tier list Obviously not everything is uh, accurate at all Like um, it's kind of a general one Like I do think Boa should kind of downgrade a little bit Because like her normal attacks makes her kind of vulnerable To be honest Like I'm gonna put yeah her somewhere here Then uh, other than that there's like a few minor changes but like i said guys they are generally in a uh, okay place like example uh maybe bullet or wano zoro definitely i, th I think yeah def definitely better than kuma like kuma to be honest is kind of hard to play right, right now because once you get close and comfortable with kuma yeah he's 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 kind of easy game like you you can argue that then skill 2 is it takes forever to cast then like the only one is his skill 1 but yeah it's, it's just okay only so uh i think honestly that's it for this tier list guys uh let me know your thoughts about all these characters obviously these are all subjected to changes um like they are i would say guys um don't care too much about the rankings itself because this is just a roughly like even though uh luchi zoro and the lofi are all in this arranged arranged like this right to be honest they are the the difference between them is minute like they are all so freaking good like there's no way to like ex specifically say one is better than another something like this so yeah and hopefully you guys understand it and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing if you want to see more one piece bounty rush content then that's it for this video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you